I love driving. It's something that I've always wanted to do as a kid. I've always been fascinated by cars. And as soon as I had my driving license at the age of 18, I've always done road trips, always owned one or sometimes multiple cars. It's always been something that has fascinated me. And of course, as a result, I'm also very fascinated in driving games because there's only one, there's only so much that you can do with your own life, but it's really difficult to be driving in other areas. It's other, it's very difficult to be immersed in parts that are on the other side of the world simply because we can only at one, only be at one place at one time, which is why I really like those driving games where you really feel some immersion, where basically the screen is another extension of your true field of vision. And on top of that, I really like to feel like the experience that I'm having when I am driving on the computer is as close as possible to reality, which is why I am very excited for this game that I'm going to present to you today. This game is called Urban Venture. It is currently being developed and it is scheduled to be released at least in early access by the end of this year. And this, guys, is the game that I have been waiting for. I would say maybe for my entire life. Now, let me tell you why I'm really, really, really excited about this game. Something that you guys don't know is that before moving to Taiwan, which is where I currently live, I used to live in Paris. And over there, I had my own business. It was a touring and private chauffeur business, meaning that I had a fleet of vehicles and I had uh, cars and my customers were being taken all over the country, sometimes even all over Europe. We were doing touring, we were doing also sometimes airport transfers or almost like Uber type of uh, missions from one place to another. And I've always been wondering, would it be so cool if there was a game that could focus on that as well? We have those trucking games, bus simulator games, but we don't really have something that focuses on that particular aspect of driving in cars. There's plenty of modes out there for your truck simulators where you can get to drive a drive a car but they're not really satisfying because this is a game that was designed for trucks you do have some modes in gta 5 where you have extended versions of the taxi mission or the chauffeur missions but again there's not much depth into those modes simply because it's not the core of the game this game here urban venture is entirely designed around the profession of taking people into your car and taking them wherever you want to go that is going to be what they call a premium simulation and i gotta say that from what we are seeing here it looks absolutely amazing what is this going to be first where is it taking place this city that you're seeing here is barcelona in catalonia and they are going to be recreating the city of Barcelona on a scale of one to one. This is not the first time that recreating a city on a scale of one to one is being done. This is something that is being done in a game called The Bus, which is where they are recreating the city of Berlin from one to one. But in this case, it's going to be the city of Barcelona. And it makes sense because you know, when you are driving people around, you just don't want to, do, to be doing taxi, but there are also plenty of other activities to be doing, including, for example, uh, transfer to the beach, uh, also uh, tour guides. You know, when you are doing tour guides, you want to be in an exciting city. Barcelona is a very touristic city, so it definitely makes sense. Airport transfers. And you are going to also be managing your own fleet of vehicles. So not just your own car that you're going to have to be maintaining, taking care, taking care of. You're going to have to refuel it. It's going to also be part of the, of the game. Realistic refueling, realistic damage. Uh, you want to make sure that your car is as pristine as possible to get good reviews from your passengers, which are themselves going to be bringing more uh, possible opportunities from players who will have uh, from uh, NPCs that will have more requests. It is exactly just like in the touring uh, profession or the sh chauffeured car profession. Absolutely fantastic. And I cannot wait for this to be uh, coming out. It looks absolutely phenomenal as well. Not just that, but they are also going to be uh, recreating the weather too. So you're going to have a very uh, dynamic weather system. You are going to have to be very careful about traffic rules. This is not a game that will encourage you to drive recklessly. Although this is going to be possible if you will want to race around the city 
recipe for fun. You will be able to do that, but you will be punished every single time that uh, the the game will uh, give you a, have a chance to. They will have uh, speed traps with the little radars. They will have uh, radars at the red lights, the traffic lights that will give you a fine a ticket. Uh, there's no word as of whether or not there will be police chases, though, but... Um, uh, given that now we have more and more automatic system in cities, I think that the devs will be uh, real, uh, relying on that. There will be traffic jams, uh, you will be able to also do lots of different parameters to make your passengers happy, give them some bottles of water, get the radio that they want to hear, uh, interact with them. For example, when uh, you'll be uh, passing some monuments and if they have a guided tour, you will have to uh, tell them exactly the right information of what they're looking at. Otherwise, let's say you are in front of uh, the Cathedral of Barcelona, but you say that it's a, another monument or you give wrong facts, then it will also uh, know that and it will give you a bad review as well. So it's going to be, it's not just going to be driving, but everything that revolves around the profession of taking people inside your car. And again, guys, as I said, this used to be my profession before moving to Taiwan. I did that for about 10 years uh, around Paris. And I'm going to say that I loved every single day of it. There was no one day like another. And uh, it, it, it was just a lot of fun. And I'm so, again, so happy to, to see a game like this coming to PC this year. And you can be sure that as soon as there will be uh, updates, I will be giving you some updates. Uh, by the way, who is making this game, you may be wondering. This is a game that is being done by Simterac, which is a Polish studio. Now, you may not know Simterac, but you may know Train Sim World, which is another game that they've released uh, in the past. And this is a game that got a pre some uh, pretty good reviews as well. Sorry, uh, Train Life, my bad. Uh, Train Life, which is a game that got some pretty good reviews as well. And uh, it's also... Uh, a game that allows you to be uh, to, uh, to drive a train on, uh, on on real tracks and it's pretty realistic as well. They really do seem to be focusing on immersion, and I have no doubt that they will be able to uh, complete this game and make it a pleasant experience. How do they also uh, make this city? They also have some technology. I went to their website. They have some really interesting technology where basically they are able to generate entire cities that are procedurally generated. And then from that, they can manually tweak uh, those cities based on the buildings that they are going to have to model or the, some of the parameters of the street. And they also have their own AI tech for traffic AI that they are going to be able to uh, put into their cities. So it, it's really uh, something that's quite elaborate, something that they've been working on. The technology already exists and they're putting it together to create this game. It's fantastic. All you have to do is to just wish, li wish it, wish it, uh, wish list it on Steam. Sorry about this. Wish list it on Steam and uh, get some further information or subscribe to the channel if you want to know more as well. That's all for this video, guys. Again, really, really excited about this. Again, as that is something that I've been waiting for my entire life. A game like this is going to say, oh, this guy must be paid. But no, I'm not paid. I'm not chilling for Steam to write. I am genuinely hyped for this and I hope that I was able to share some of that hype. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. That's the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.